Welcome back to TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus most definitely comes first. This once again is Chapman and he teaches you the unchangeable word of God. Listen with this theme song and you'll know. It's me. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely come first. If you are not aware, we are restarting all over again because the original recording that I did just vanished out of nowhere. The devil does not want me preaching what I'm preaching, so it's okay. So let's get to our message real quick. First off, let's uh, let's go for the few brief announcements. Number one, go to community call two 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 at gmail dot com. That's spelled C O M M U N I T Y C L O U D two 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 at gmail dot com. Send me all your prayer requests. Even if you just want me to shout out to you on the podcast, send me your first name, your city, and your state, and I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come first. Also remember, you can you can contact me at 1-302-448-8443. Again, that's 1-302-448-TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come come first also remember guys you can remember keep in mind for the worship Saturdays worship Saturdays where we'll be doing nothing but worshiping God no messages just praise prayer and worship we'll take every Saturday and we'll do nothing but praise and worship God no messages no nothing just praise prayer and worship also, keep in mind for the rumble where we'll be shaking the heavens, rattling the earth, and rumbling against the principalities of darkness and evil. We'll take one day out of the week and we'll do nothing but what pray. What happened back in the day when the boxers used to box? They were what? Rumbling. And a rumble back then used to be a fight. So, the Bible says that we don't want rumble or fight against principal of flesh and blood, but what of what principalities of darkness and evil. That is the rumble. We'll be fighting against the principalities. Or we'll be rumbling against the principalities of darkness and evil. That is the rumble. So there are other things going to be coming up. I got some good. Uh, Guest speakers coming for the show real soon. Hopefully we'll get the comedian back on again. And this time he'll actually do some telling some funny jokes. Because I liked him. He was fun. And uh, he was something. He was cool. So we are going to get into our song for the show. In just one brief minute here. So like I said, it just just vanished. I don't know what happened. All I know is it just went away on me. Sorry about that, guys. Come on. Yeah, I went to go search a scripture out. And then I went and clicked off the scripture. Off of the internet. And it just went. Don't know. So... It was kind of weird, but I guess God has reasons for it. So there we are. Okay, let's pick our song for the day. And here we go. And voila, there we are. I do believe if I am not, if I am correct, the song should be Only You by Prophet Dr. Larry Orell. Those of you who are on my Facebook Live friends, you get to hear two songs for today because it messed up. So I played Created by Dr. Tom Ray. I am also going to play now from Prophet Larry Orell, Only You by Prophet Dr. Larry Orell. Enjoy. Only you. Thank you. 
same old sunshine, same old sky, same old bluebirds flying by. But it seems like the sunshine's more beautiful today. It's not the change in the weather, but the fact that we're together. It's you, it's you. that brings light into my life. It's you, it's you that makes my future bright. Whether it's morning, noon, or night. Same old, same old, same old town. Same old people just walking around. But I'm seeing the world in a different light tonight. Not the stars nor the moon can't be anything but you. It's you. That brings light into my life. It's you, It's you that makes my future bright. Whether it's morning, noon, or night, Lord, it's you. There may be cloudy days and those rainy nights. Without a single star in the sky, but if the sun and the moon should both refuse to shine. My future bright Whether it's morning, noon or night Lord, it's you It's you It's you It's You by Prophet Dr. Larry O'Rell. Let's get into our message for today. Our message is simply entitled, Lost Without Christ, Part 2. So it's the second part to last week's message. Now that we know that we, can, we can't do anything without Christ, that we are lost without Him, what do we do next? After we've figured out we were lost without Christ, and that we are not, that we now gave our lives to Christ. What do we do next? Let me look something up for a minute.
So our first scripture is Hold on, just two more seconds. Second Corinthians ten one. So Second Corinthians ten one. So verse chapter ten. Verse 1, Now I, Paul myself, am pleading with you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in, who in presence am lowly among you, but being absent and bold toward you. I'll keep reading for a second. But I beg you that when I am present, I may not be bold with that confidence by which I intended to be bold against some who think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. So, we first need to what? We need to be humble before Christ and turn away from our sins and we will be saved. Because we can't do anything without Christ. We can't do any, we can't even do anything if we're not saved. Now, don't get me wrong. People will always say, well, God can use anybody he wants to. Absolutely, God can. And if God, excuse me, really wants you to get a message out, the first thing that he's going to do is use you. But here's the thing. If you're deliberately sinning and deliberately sinning and then you're asking God to use you but you're deliberately sinning and asking God to use you deliberately sinning, do you think God really is, I mean, he can, but do you really think God really is going to be using you at that moment or anybody in that, for that matter? doesn't mean just you. I'm not, I'm not picking on any one specific person. But do you think that God is going to use anybody at that moment who is deliberately sinning, but yet asking God uh, to be used. I don't think so. Now, we need to be humbled before Christ. Now, it doesn't mean that we need to be focusing on the past, because what the past does is, the past sins we used to do is bad news, yes. But we look at them to keep ourselves what, humble before Christ so that we know that where Christ brought us from. So that when we go to witness this God to other people, we can tell him where Christ brought us from. Because like I said before in one of my previous messages, I went to the Adrian Training School and I stood on the edge of the grass and the pavement where all the old buildings were, the gym and the school and my complex where I used to live and where I walked to get to my complex and all that stuff. And uh, where Christ has brought me from. And I stood there with my wife, Kimberly. And I, and God just came over me and he says, Look where I brought you from. I had tears coming down my face. I mean, I was to the point to where I just about lost it right in front of her. And this is before we got married at one point. And a little bit after we got married. But this incident was before we got married. And it was a very touching moment. Because God brought me through a lot. And brought me to a place like that. And then God used that place to bring me to where I am today. Where I am today is a, is a lot different than what would have been today. If I didn't do what God wanted me to do.